This is the 20th video on computer awareness quiz and this will be a 40 part video series on computer awareness wherein we'll be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to computers, programs and related terminologies or terms. You will find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under computer awareness quiz section. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. So now let's quickly get on with it. Which of the following networking hardware can operate at any one of the seven layers of the open systems interconnection model? Correct answer is B gateway. Gateways are distinct from routers or switches in that they communicate using more than one protocol and can operate at any of the seven layers of the open systems interconnection model. Which of the following networking devices forwards data packets between computer networks? Correct answer is a router. A router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks and performs the traffic directing functions on the internet. In the OSI model, bridging is performed in which of the following layers? Correct answer is data link layer. In the OSI model, a network bridge is a computer networking device that creates a single aggregate network from multiple communication networks or network segments. You will find one of the images in our later questions. Which of the following networking devices is used for delivery of messages between VPN nodes or virtual private network? Correct answer is VPN connector. So it is a type of networking device that provides a secure creation of VPN connections and delivery of messages between the VPN nodes. What is the full form of HIDS? Correct answer is Host Based Intrusion Detection System. It is an intrusion detection system that is capable of monitoring and analyzing the internals of a computing system as well as the network packets on its network interfaces. Which of the following devices distributes network traffic across a number of servers? Correct answer is load balancer. It is a device that acts as a reverse proxy and distributes network or application traffic across a number of servers. Load balancers are used to increase capacity and reliability of the applications. What is the name given to the electronic device that receives a signal and transmits it at higher level? Correct answer is a repeater. Repeater is an electronic device that receives a signal and retransmits it at a higher level onto the other side of the obstruction so that the signal can cover longer distances. This is typically seen in large houses or offices wherein a wall can create an obstruction for the Wi-Fi network. What is the name given to the device that converts between two different types of transmission for interoperation? Correct answer is protocol converter. A protocol converter is a device which is used to convert standard or proprietary protocol of one device to the protocol suitable for the other device or tools to achieve the interoperability. Which of the following devices has high bandwidth? Correct answer is a switch. A network switch is a computer networking device that connects devices on a computer network by using a packet switching to receive, process and forward data to the destination device. Which one of the below is known as multiport repeater? Correct answer is a hub. A hub in the context of networking is a hardware device that relays communication data. A hub sends data packets to all devices on a network. Which one of the following is made up of layer 3 switch? Correct answer is both B and C. Layer 3 switch is a switch and a router built together for fast performance. A router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks. What is the full form of NIC? Correct answer is network interface card. It is used to connect the computer to the external network. It will normally have a PCI connector to connect to one of the PC expansion slots. Which of the followings is used to connect computers and other end user devices to networking devices such as hubs and switches? Correct answer is both B and C. Straight through cable is also referred to as a patch cable. This straight through cable is used to connect computers and other end user devices to networking devices such as hubs and switches. In fact, some of these cables can also be used to transfer data between one computer to another. Which one of the following sends data packets to all devices on a network, regardless of any MAC addresses? Correct answer is a hub. So as we have already seen, 
It is a hardware device that relays communication data. A hub sends data packets to all devices on a network. The hub allows system administrators to monitor data passing through and to configure each port according to the requirements. Which one of the following devices converts digital signal to analog signal and vice versa? Correct answer is a modem. So modem is a device that converts digital signal to analog signal as a modulator and analog signal to digital signal as demodulator. Just an additional info, asynchronous modem uses start and stop bit for synchronization instead of a clock. Which of the following hubs can store, amplify, split and retransmit the received signal? Correct answer is an active hub. So it can store, amplify, split and retransmit the received signal. It requires additional electronic circuit for performing different functions. What are the other names for a network interface card? That is the NIC. Correct answer is all of the above. A network interface card is a, basically a circuit board or a card that allows computer to communicate over a network via cables or wirelessly. Every network adapter is assigned a unique 48-bit media access control address or MAC addresses which is stored in ROM to identify themselves in a network. So they are also known by the name of LAN adapters, network adapters and network card. Which type of bridge is used on token ring networks? Correct answer is all of the above. Source route bridge is used on a token ring networks. Bridge derives the entire path of the frame embedded in the header of the frame and decides how to forward the frame throughout the network till it reaches its destination. Which of the following are the basic functions of a gateway? Correct answer is all of the above. A gateway performs many functions. Some of them are protocol translation, network address translation and DHCP service. It is used to route the traffic from one network to another and to connect LAN to WAN or VPN. Which one of the following routers sits on the periphery of the network? That is at the last end. Correct answer is both B and C. An access router is a router that sits at the periphery of a network. It is also known as an edge router. It is in contrast with core router, which is a router that resides in the middle of the network. Thank you and see you in the next one.